Okay guys, this is one video I know I have been waiting to make and I'm pretty sure you guys have been looking forward to seeing. We're finally getting some wheels on Dale, so stay tuned. So there's the wheels and tires. Everything's all mounted and balanced. And as you can tell, the back tires are a little bit bigger and a little bit wider because we went 10 inch back there. And we've got 18 by eights. And of course they're 18 inch the whole way through. And they are American racing. I did tell you guys that. But what I didn't share with you was the exact style of wheel that we're gonna be going with on this truck. And you're not gonna get to see it until I do the final reveal. We've got Dale in here on the hoist getting ready to swap those out. So I'm going to do that and just momentarily we're going to reveal to you the new wheel and tire package on Dale the truck. So one thing that I am totally undecided about is what to do with the rally wheels that are on the truck. If I put the new ones on, chances are I'll never take them off unless I upgrade to something else down the road, maybe Detroit Steel Wheels if I win the lottery and can afford them. But as of right now, if I store these away, I'm going to A, have to store them. Where am I going to do that? I mean, yes, we've got places here, but um, if I sell them, then they're gone. And the rally wheels do have a special place in my heart because every truck I've ever had has had those on it. But it might be time to take whatever I can get out of those wheels and these tires because remember when I bought the truck these tires were like new. Uh, the fellow that I bought them from said he only had roughly maybe 400 miles on those new tires. So the tires are fairly new. Uh, the wheels, the rallies, they're eight inches in the back, seven is in the front. So I might be able to recoup some of my money off of the new setup to be able to fund a little bit more projects on Dale. So anyways, we're gonna get these swapped out. We're gonna lower the truck down, uh, take it over, and we're gonna give it a quick bath because, well, I haven't washed this thing probably in about two weeks, and it's hard to tell because, well, this color holds its cleanliness very, very well. Anyways, we'll give it a quick shine, and uh, then we'll do the reveal on these new wheels and tires. So. Let me get at this and I'll come right back with you guys in just a few minutes. And while I'm doing this guys, it might be a great opportunity to jump in here and tell you that this is kind of the last call for the bumper to bumper challenge as well as the submit your ride challenge. I almost forgot about it. Uh, so the bumper to bumper challenge is show us in a video of five minutes or less on every vehicle you've ever owned. The rules will be in the description box below. The Submit Your Ride is a two minute video. Pick one vehicle that you love, that you, that you own, and uh, tell me a little bit about it and why you love it so much and some of the upgrades you may have done to it. So those rules are in the description box below. Uh, deadline is this Sunday, May the 31st. So hope we get some more submissions and we'll hope to see your bumper to bumper challenge. All right guys, now is the moment you've all been waiting for. You know what? It's the moment I've been waiting for ever since I bought this truck is to have something that was sitting low and level mind you which it is now and I'll explain to you why later with a nice set of shiny wheels and uh, obviously being a square body truck it's something that I've been looking forward to ever since I sold my last one approximately 15 years ago here it is guys here is my 1977 Chevy Scottsdale I call Dale and it's pretty well 100% finished look.
there you have it. There is my truck. I'm so excited. I could barely contain myself. In fact, I think I sent out a few texts when the wheels showed up today to a few buddies and used the adjective giddy as a schoolgirl. So I'm that excited. You guys don't get to see me excited very much. I was pretty uh, excited when we blew up bubbles. This, ta this uh, takes the cake for sure. Um, I hope you all can appreciate the classic styling of the uh, American Racing Torque Thrust 2 with the uh, gray centers. I know there's a lot of trucks out there and a lot of cars out there with these wheels on them. I like a classic look. It's another reason why I wanted to keep the truck in its stock color. It's another reason why I kept the engine and transmission as old school and not LS swap it. Although that's not going to be out of the question necessarily. Maybe. Who knows? Um, but let me tell you a little bit about those wheels and tires. Obviously I just said American Torque Thrust 2s. Uh, and the tires that I used up front are just cheap tires. I have a hard time paying big money for big name brand tires. I'm thrifty when it comes to that. So I went with a tire called Ovation, and these are the EcoVision. And up front, I went with a 225-55-18, and they are 18 by eights up front. And in the back, I went with 255-60-18, and they are 10 inches wide in the back. And the reason why I went with a little bit taller tire out here was because you guys know I had the sagging issue with the back end of the truck. I did some quick calculations and I figured out that this truck needed a 30 inch tall tire in the rear to bring that up the inch and a half extra or so that I needed. And on the pavement, I measured it. It's within a 3 8 of an inch all the way around on all four fenders. This sucker is sitting level. I can't wait for you guys to see it in motion and we will get some of those shots in a later video. Having said all of that, the truck is I don't want to say 100% done. We're going to go 99. That leaves me a little bit of wiggle room to do a little bit of fun stuff because we do still have the seat. A couple little things we're going to do on the channel. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this build on this truck. It's going to be on the channel for a long time. I do not have any plans on getting rid of it someday. Maybe right now I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this truck. The AC is blowing cold, which was really good this weekend. But for now, it's all shined up. I'm gonna go for a cruise. Guys, thank you for watching. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again.